All right, is it recording? Okay. Previa comrades, TFCOM, yeah. If you watched my previous video, this is all recorded the same night, because I got, I don't want to end, so I didn't even log out or anything. I need to get some snappy shirts, it looks like. Or to Papa Shen, the one I told you I knew we had a quest for, but whatever. Probably shouldn't keep recording because I need to eat and everything else, but I'm going to because I love me. Okay. This one I'm going to try not to make as long. Shh, you know me. I wish you'd leave the recording in like a corner, but then you guys would see it in the recording. But, um, like the time counter or something, so I don't go over too much, but I don't know. Okay. Well, you must certainly look the part of an adventure, my friend. Might you be the good soul Memori advised me to expect, hmm? I'm Papa Shen, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I'm truly no more than a tired old Laura fell, passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Aw, but you're so cute, Papa. Eh, then I call you Papa. I can call you Papa, because that's your name. <laughs> Twelve, no, there have been plenty of, of both these last five years since the calamity struck. Devastation was vast. The Twelve is the gods. Uh, they have twelve different gods, so they say, Oh, thank the Twelve, and things like that. Yeah. Yet now your true oldens work together, doing all in their power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. I should an old voice. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we've rebuilt all that to the grand one majesty that we that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch yard too were born of noble efforts of great many souls. He should speak slower because he's an old man. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply. <coughs> Remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. This hurts my fucking voice. Alda needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me <coughs> to the point, I suppose. I'm trying, uh, it's coughing on purpose, not, not like me dying, sorry. Just in case you're worried. <laughs> I do believe I may have some work suited for one of your ability. Please don't speak any more. He will. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens that a number of centuries I have been sent to guard the area, a dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. I have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can blow hells on the mind and body out here. It isn't much. So go and give them these twilight pretzels, will you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. God damn. This game is dark. First it was cussing, and now it's talking about killing himself. I, should I put an age restriction on this? You guys can vote in the comments. I feel like I should do an age restriction, because this has a lot of dark things. I mean, first it was cussing, now you're talking about suicide. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is really a child's game. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I'm still debating if I should age restrict this i don't know i don't want like little kids being like papa wants to kill himself he wants to kill himself and he's old and he's probably thinking that's why he should kill himself it's hot it's cold he's falling apart you know he feels old and this is not something i i i, I support papa shun you are very lovable and i love you This is, uh, I'm so worried, Papa Shun. So worried. I, I, I'll definitely give them those pretzels that makes them not kill themselves. That would definitely be my goal. I do not want that to happen. No way in fucking hell. In the hells, the seven hells, or whatever they call them, yeah. Anyone see Kekka see me since last night? Anyone? Please don't tell me he killed himself. Especially after just hearing that from Papa. No, 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 I cannot know enough in this game. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's the person who was late. Oh, my. 
I am sorry, guys. I was really freaked out. I assumed the worst. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing with that timetable? I've been looking all over for it. Got it from Kekazani, you say. Why, that useless drunk. I'll wager he was out all night again, chasing up under skirts. This is such a sexual game. Talking about sex a lot, talking about suicide, talking about cussing. Not talking about cussing, they're actually cussing. Fucking shite, man. Like, fucking shite. I'm really debating an age restriction on this. Like, I'm not even kidding. I really am. If anyone's watching these videos, please tell me what your thought process is on this, because it seems like it needs an age restriction. Very much seems safe. Okay. That's it. The next time he mentions his shift, I'm trying him to the tracks. You're not going to fire him now? I'd fire him now. You're going to kill him, apparently. If you're that close to killing him, why don't you just fire him? That seems like a much better option for both of you. Whatever. Whatever. I need to kill some of these guys for my mission. The cute little things are like my size. I love that these are like the first things I ever killed and they're higher level than the things I just killed. I'm trying to click on you, thank you. No, I'm not close enough. I mean, do I need to kill those? I need to kill four of them. Okay. I'm looking at this little, like, the little chat down there is telling me, like, you killed two of, two of four, things like that. Later on, it's going to be, like, where you need to kill, like, set 17, 20, something like that. Some of them are, like, 35. I'm like, are you kidding me? Kill one more. I'm going to kill you. That's a get from wandering away from your friends. I know it's only, like, an inch, but that's the size of me, so... I can use this guy as like a scale. I think he's like two inches, two and a half something inches. I'll use him as a scale now. Snapping shrew. Are those like my titles? I wonder. Once I do all these, okay, I need some cactors. Tells me where to find him too. That's kind of cool. Okay. I mean, I know where to find him, but it's still nice. Oh, these are the ones I'm giving pretzels to. Please don't kill yourself. I love you. You're very cute, too. Twelve, save me. Scorching days. Freezing nights. This post will be the end of me. Got you a pretzel. Doesn't really help much, but... I, I got you one. It'll make you smile. Twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing cod stamped pretzel I feel for. <laughs> I have a new reason to live because I ate a pretzel. I am shouting at three in the morning. My neighbors are going to fucking hate me. I am sorry, neighbors. There's like a little old lady who lives underneath me. I'm trying not to keep her up. I'm sorry. I don't even know if she can hear me. I really hope she can't because I don't want to be like screaming and waking up this poor little old lady. Because she's too nice to like bang on my floor, you know. For her roof. People used to do it with like brooms and stuff. She's too nice to do that, I bet. I'm sorry, little old lady, I love you. Hello, Hornets. Please don't stab me. You are very big. Your stab your needle's probably the size of me, so don't do that. We're pretty close to it. I wonder if I could take on one of those level twelve giant tortoises. Maybe. You are stern. Very stern. Hello. Western front, clear. Eastern front, clear. Got your pretzel. Will I help you? For me? From Papa Shen? Twilight pretzel? My favorite, how did he know? I love when he's all like, I'm stir. Pretzel! Can't find an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. <laughs> He's a fighter. And he can't... I'm sorry, my laugh is fucking insane and it keeps changing, I know. That's just how I laugh. 
my god. Oh my gods. <laughs> Think the twelve. No. He can't fight. He, he hates fighting, yet he's an actual guard. So what would happen if we're getting evaded? What would you do? Just hope you don't get evaded, I guess. See, this place should be go downhill. One's tired because he doesn't like the heat. One doesn't even like fighting. It's just like, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, and you guys are gonna be the cause of it. Love you. Where's the last one? You're way up there. Please don't tell me that's you way up there. I can't reach you. I can't, I can't climb. Is there stairs? Okay, I can get up the side of the mountain, I guess. Because I'm like, oh, I can't get up there. Well, I'm going to give you your pretzel. You better come down and get your pretzel, please. Come and see. Come and see here, beta. Oh, serious. Ooh, serious. I'm sorry. You are serious. Your, your, your shield is floating, sir. 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 I, I know you're looking out over there, but your shield's going to float away. You, you might want to catch it. Sir. Sir. Hello. Sir. Sir. Yeah, whatever. You don't care. Halt, sir. I'm going to ask you to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. You're a dick. I bet you're trying to be funny here, but, like, I'm bringing you food. You better, like, hug me and kiss me and, like, call me George. State your name and business. A Twilight Pet Pretzel Publisher? By the gods, forgive me. I say this new post is my nerves. In a twist. Hello. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for that. <laughs> um, yes, well. May rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please give Papa Shin my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Okay. Is he down here? So I could have gotten him first. Whatever. Papa Shin, your last one was a dick. But I gave you pretzels. Please don't kill yourself. Please make sure they don't kill themselves. I love you all very much. Smooches. Smooches. You return with a deal fewer pretzels, I see. So, did I like keep one for myself? I don't know. Tell, tell me, how fair are salt sworn sentries? Do they have anything to report? Anything at all? Oh, wait, old voice. What? Nothing? Are you sure? I. <coughs> oh, dear. Take this for your troubles then, and stay a moment. There's more I would ask of you. Wait. Look on you. Oh, the command kiss does not exist. What other one would be there be? Smooch? You can get married in this game and you can't kiss? Well, you, you guys are just rude. Die back. I have just this moment. No. <clears throat> no, the time for concealment is past. The truth is. Even before you deliver those pretzels, I was pri privy to the most unsettling news. Don't be dying. Which is the real reason I sent you to meet those souls in born. He's a cutie. Oh, cutscene. A young noble woman from a very prestigious family. Why are you dancing? I am dancing because I love you. Okay. Has run away. From home, and I have been ordered to see her safe return. You are a very cute little man. Salt sworn you met earlier assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start. We must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, <coughs> and the others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And shall we should we allow her to come to any harm? Even a thousand beheadings would be punishment enough. Not even a thousand minutes. Excuse me, I'm old. I forget my words. This cannot happen, Divek. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Like how my weapons are just like floating. Are they like tied down or something? They're just like, kind of floating. Whatever. Praise the dwell. I do a kick out on you. I am very flamboyant. As much as I am old. I've instructed the others to expand the search. But that land is vast. And there are only so many of us. The young noble woman's name is Lady Lyra. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Okay. Kisses. Since I can't do it in the emotes. Mwah. Kiss my screen. Okay. 
he... I don't even know what quest I'm heading towards. I'm just heading towards wherever the shield is. Watch it be the person, and it's, she's, like, dramatic, like, right next to us or something stupid. Sorry, I killed your fans. Hello, tortoise. I don't think I can kill them ahead of time. I think I have to get everyone in, because they're not showing the thing. I think I have to get everyone in the journal before I can get to the next level. But I don't think I can kill things from the other levels yet. I mean, I can kill them, but they won't be adding. That seems to be the case, at least. I don't know who's up here. Someone is. Is it my, like, outpost or something? I bet it is. <laughs> I'm a climber. Yeah, it's the Sultan tree. Oh, it's cutscene, because she says she's in the cutscene. What did Laura fell? Oh, Sultan tree. You're about to enter an instance battle. Oh, jeez. Okay. Start battle. The deep battle. Okay. Okay, saying this is gonna be a difficult battle. Oh, it says recommended level eight. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Makes me scared. It says if your level's above eight, it'll bring you back down to eight. So at least that's good. What are you doing? What are you doing, Remy? Stay still. Choose a spot and stay still. You stuck. I don't know if you guys are hearing her voice, but it's so cute. I'm right here. Hello. Oh, so you're the person I'm looking for. You're cute. Oh, you. Thank Red. Thank Red. My BFF. I thought he only showed up. On the Gridania quest. That was really kind of sad. Because, well, I mean, I know he's an important part in the character, as in the series and stuff, but... I know he's a villain in the game. And as I told you, I know him personally. So I was really hoping that they actually get to see him to show you guys Thinkred. And everything. Because, you know, he's my friend. And I wanted to guys to show you guys about him and stuff. He's such a sassy little... Fabulous man. I love him. I love you. I know I'm like ugly right now, but I love you. You are adorable. I love you. No, I don't want chat. Go away, chat. I don't know how to close it once I've opened it. He is noble, and I love him. Are we gonna fight zombies? Sorry. I don't- I know I said to not record sound because, um, I want to record my voice instead. But I kind of hope it is still recording the sound because their voices are just so sarcastic and I love them. I can't even hope to read to them. It's also why I'm not saying the words. Because if it's recording their voice, I prefer their voice over mine. Because their voice is sexy. My voice is whatever. And I can't do the girl voice as well, so, you know. Oh, I'm just standing here. Hello. Thank you. Papa Sean, that's his name. Hello. Thank you. And see, and I never would have been able to pronounce impetuousness without him pronouncing it first. You're so cute, thank God, I love you. You're so sexy. Zombies! Kind of. Gargoyle things. A fucking sight! Okay, I'm fucking terrified of 
things very easily, and I get very scared of jump scares. And I know that wasn't really a jump scare, but it was still terrifying. So this will be fun. I'm gonna fucking die, mate. No, bitch. Okay, sure, she listened. <laughs> Wait, he called her Lyra, and then he said Lilara right here. Continuity, continuity airs, continuity airs. I don't know. But at least it was spelled the same. It's pronounced differently though. But sarcastic, I like you. I'm gonna punch you in the nose. I'm gonna punch you in the nose. Your big gargoyle nose. I don't know. When I click on him, he'll probably tell me what he is. He looks like a gargoyle. So instance fights are basically regular fights, but no other care, no other people can join you. It's a blogger. No other people can join you except for handsome stranger. Yes, he is. Yeah. But um, no other care people can join you. Like no other like players can join you. It's just for the storyline. For like, for they actually have these handsome stranger. Don't hurt my handsome stranger. He's a lovely, and I love him. Come, let us attend to our uninvited guest. I can't make my voice as sexy as him. <laughs> Could you tell I had a crush on him when I first met Thinkred? Yeah, I think you can tell. Unfortunately, we're not that close, and I... But he's cute. Very cute. That's definitely, definitely a thing. It says there's two others, but I don't see them. Lovely, it brought friends. There they are. Be the big one to me, you handle the rest. Well, you think I'm not strong enough? Eh, okay, I'll kill him fast. They're level four, he's level... Stay close if you want me to heal you. I don't really need it, but thanks. He's level 12. Okay, so yeah, he's way higher. And Handsome Stranger doesn't have a level. I love that he said Handsome Stranger. I could have said Stranger, or... Uh, Rescuer, a partner, anything of the sort, they call him Handsome Stranger. Like, they just know. They know my sexuality. More of them? Really, now. There are limits on our hospitality, to our hospitality. There's words in the battle, which is kind of hard to concentrate on because, you know, you're worried about talking. Oh, they're coming faster and faster now. They're not really that strong, but, you know. Not use. Do I not have any MP? Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. I thought I was clicking one. I was clicking two. My bad. That's why it wasn't doing any damage. I was like, why are they not dying? Like about the big one again, right? Oh, you killed him. I got spinning powers. Spinny duty complete. Duty. Have you completed your duty? I have duties. So I got some cutscenes in there for you guys. I'm getting in that storyline. You, no, okay. And that horrible loading! Okay, it's not too bad. <gasps> that seems... Where's all your friends? I got earrings, I'm pretty. I got a pirate eye. Ooh, you left shiny. Shiny, touch the shiny! Okay, this is where the main story comes really important. Those shiny, those crystals are very important to the main story. So, pay attention to these cutscenes. I don't want to give away too much of the story, so I'm going to be quiet. So excited.
hear, feel, think are three very important lines that will be repeated for a long time. <laughs> a long time. I just realized you guys may not be hearing the voice in the cutscene, but it's like a sweet motherly voice for the, for the crystal. Crystal speaking to you, yeah. They love you. Mm -hmm. Sexy voice. He just kind of left you there, though. And don't move an unconscious person. It's kind of the rules. No. Denizen. I don't know what that word means. I'm guessing it means a creature from the void. I don't know. He was makeup. I like the little jump I do. Fucking sexy. Well, you little bitch. He says I'm a druggie, basically. Bitch. So you just became his enemy. Because I already spoiled it for you guys and told you guys you could fill it. And I really don't want to spoil your importance. Basically, you just revealed yourself to be someone insanely important that he needs to do. So he's like, I'm going to keep an eye on you and see if it's 
progresses anymore. Because if you get too strong and try to stop my plans, then I'm going to have to kill you. I love how they have an accent that's very similar to mine. It's like a British or Irish or something. Is what they typically have. Like each of them have around some sort of UK accent. Most of them have a British, but there's like a few Australian stuff. So I like that they do that because it's like I don't know if it's just this area or if it's all the characters in general. I'm not sure, but it's it's kind of cute. You little bitch! I can handle myself. Go follow her. Make sure she doesn't fall in a hole. I don't even know what impetuousness means. I feel like he's insulting her, but I don't know. But he knows you're, you're one of the people that the eye on your shirt knows. You're a batch. You're hot, but you're a batch. Love you. <laughs> I still will love you. Kind of was a bitch back then, too. Back when I originally met him. But he was cute, you know. And now he's now he's kind of a good guy, kind of. I don't know. He's still kind of here, but you know, he's cute. By the way, I can hear the hornets. I couldn't hear him before. Which one's closer? I don't want to go all the way back there. I guess that's the closest to dispatch yard. Okay. I need a mount. Actually, I wouldn't really use it that much. I keep jumping off it to go kill things, but. I'd like a mount, please. Thank you. Love you, mate. Keep reading Marmot as Maggot, and it's like, what? Confusing me there. Oh, shite! You are alive. Well, 50. I'm gonna not fight you, please and thank you. Kisses. I'm talking a little louder now because my volume is on. It. I don't know if it recorded at all, because I said don't record, but it's recording my voice, so it probably records a little bit of what comes out of the speaker, which is my thought process, you know, because how is it going to differentiate between the sound and me? It can stop the sound from the video, of course, but it wouldn't be able to stop it from my actual voice. So I would received damage from that fall, but not something even taller than that. It's because I landed on ro railroad tracks, and they were, like, sharp. I'm sorry, that's just, meh. I guess because the metal, yeah. Babashu! Babashan. Babashan. There she is. Everyone's all worried about her now. Hello. Another cutscene. Thank the gods you return. You heard us all so worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to get injured. Or worse. Why, her grace, the sultana, would be beside herself with grief. And so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. So apparently sultana is like the female version of sultan. I don't know if they made that up, if that's actually a real thing. So please tell me if you know. But I've already given you cause to wait, Bashan. You and the people of Ulda. Oh, we love you, you're pretty. Please, you're, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It's not my place to make demands, m my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. <coughs> I apologize for causing undue worry, Papa Shun. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in future. They're all so tiny and cute! Like, the majority of people are tiny in this one, I look. Hey. Are you mocking her? I like you're mocking her. I'm just rude. <laughs> but she's kind of rude. Do not thank you enough, Tyvek. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilra from Wade and Fiend. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. No, you needn't do that. I think I'm saying, I don't know. 
a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder. I see him at Tinkred. Tinkred! I was right. I was pretty sure it was him. But it's been a while since I've played this and since I've seen him. Oh my gosh, Tinkred. I love him. And that's how you pronounce his name, Tinkred. I love him. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Really too fond of the sound of his own voice, for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Dybeck, you are just the sort of adventurer we need round here. I pray you show some kindness to the people of Thalalan, as you did to us today. Okay, I love you. Love you, old man. No more quests from you? I'm sorry. I think there's a quest from someone down here, Leveled up again. Yay, level 9. I'm leveling up more from quests than actually killing people. So I guess that's, that's the point of the games. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I resolved to repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of Coper and Cotton. I'm gonna do this voice for you, because I'm, I've used up a lot of voices, so I'm trying to do a new one. Yee -hee. For this purpose, I purchased from the Royal Plant Nation plantations. A prestigiously pump pumpkin. A particularly popular piece of produce. Last, I cannot pop this piece of procure to pro up the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa mines for which I wait is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my steed and see it safely to the cover and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to the gallery at the royal plantation and she shall yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend this time consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. There's a lot of tongue twists in my words. Heed me not. Okay. You're really right here. Jump. I'm gonna stand on your crops. What a voice for you. Thailand has ever been a barren region. Believe me when I say it takes no small effort to make crops grow here. I've even introduced other ones to the soil in order to enrich it. Alas, we've been nigh eradicated by stepping shrews, burrowing critters native to these parts. Unless we save the earthworms, the entire plant won't yield so much a single pumpkin next harvest. Won't you help us by thinning up the shrew population? The shrewers would be the best place to start. Oh my fucking god, that voice hurts. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fucking hell. I don't know why I even attempted that voice. Oh damn. <coughs> I'll get the pumpkin first though. To fight you? Gaggery. Who what voice would you for you? Chikarov has come calling soon. Spectacular specimen shall sadly be past his point. Oh, so you're here to deliver the decalent delight. What is with these tongue twisters? I can say with confidence that any Goraman is be grateful for such a grand gift. Here's the pump. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such we are always deluded with demand. You know the way of the Kofer and Coffin, right? Beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lodge. I don't like your talking. It hurts my face. Hole. I was going to say my face, and that didn't make sense, so my face hole. Do I have to like, do I have to open these, I guess, and get the monster and then attack the monster? Yeah, okay. Oh. You're a higher level one. So I guess I can't just kill random ones, I have to kill like the ones hidden under the cell, under the ground or something. Because there's one just right there, but I think I'd be the ones in the, sh in the hills. Hey Dante. What am I doing to these anthills? They like disappear? They're like 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 
stomping them or something? That would explain why they're mad when they come out. I'm like stomping up their home. Where's the last one? There it is. I'm walking all over your pumpkins. Well, that causing quite a mess killing these things, too. Oh, right, you were the high pitch one, weren't you? Thank you, friend. You truly are the champion of Earthworms. Now we can look forward to plentiful harvest of pumpkins. I wonder which ones will grace the Sultana's plate. Oh, my, my cat's worried about me. I'm sorry, Dante. He's like patting me, like, are you okay? That doesn't sound like your voice. I'm like, I'm sorry, it is my voice, but, you know. Great, another mission. An idle adventure is a sorry sight. I have no need for assistance at the moment. Perhaps someone in the corporate coffin wants a helping hand. Wobaru, well, the resident chief, comes to mind. The man is obsessed with inventing new dishes, and I hear his current fascination is fish. If you were to donate some for his cause, I'm sure he'd be great. Now I'm a simple farmer. I don't know much about fish, but I do know what I like. And I like Audubon. You won't find more succulent fish in these parts, I tell you. If you have a mind to give some fish to Warabu, I can wholeheartedly recommend Fatty Audubon. Four slices or so should be enough for him to experiment with. I don't know how to fish, so no. That's not what I'm doing. My cat's freaking out. I'm so sorry, Dante. Don't freak out. I'm walking on your pumpkins because you're a bitch. Your voice hurts my throat, so I'm going to walk on your pumpkins. Punishment. I'm trying to find those cactors first, so I can finish my mission for my hunting log. I know where they are, I just don't want to go all the way there, you know? So do I have to, like, attack them in the water? You know, like, randomly- Oh, fucking shite, those aren't fish. Those are demons sent from the seventh hell. Oh, fucking shite. I'm, I don't want to eat one of those. I'd be too worried about it being gross. I don't know. I thought I was like having to get like a fishing rod and fish like you do in World of Warcraft and stuff. But no, there's actually demonic fish creatures in the ground and they want you to kill them. They're like, they don't even, they're not even fully covered by the water. They're like waiting weird. Do they breathe air? Because otherwise I feel like they wouldn't get enough water, you know, to, to breathe. They feel like they're like gasping for breath or something. Unless they breathe air. I don't know. Dante, get off my computer. Dante, sit. You guys are freaky. What? Oh, cool. I'm adding it to my database at the same time. You're stuck on the rocks. This would be a mercy kill. Oh, you're fucking crazy as fuck. So it does add, even though I wasn't supposed to have them yet. Okay, that's interesting. Where is all my other quests supposed to be? Western Fallowhound, that's where it is. Can I kill you? What do I add to my, what do I add to my thing? I guess I can see. So it won't tell me which ones I need to kill for the next level thing, but like, I can finish it earlier on, I guess. No, it didn't give me that for that, so I'm gonna avoid it. Because maybe there's certain ones you have to kill, and it's not one of them or something, I don't know. Here's something I can attune to. Cat's glaring at me. I'm sorry. I know I'm not petting you because I have these both hands to, to walk and jump. Wait, right here. I almost walked past it. See what you made me do? I almost walked past this place. Nope. Hands off the keyboard. Thank you. It's like dealing with children. Well, Obaru, I've got a name for you. Or, voice for you. Are you a guy? I think you're a guy. 
Fish, fish, futile. There's no suitable species. Oh, but I shall not surrender. I don't know. I'm making a deep voice for this man because he is tiny. Got this thing. It's creepy. <laughs> the description. So fresh you can eat it raw, but probably shouldn't unless you enjoy parasites. Oravon, of course. But wait, how did you know my Epicurean endeavor? Well, it matters not. The solution you suggest is sen sen sensational. Saute with salt. A squirt of sun lemon. So simple. Get sublime. Fish is costly commodity here in Thailand. Were it not from your local larger say, I would have been forced to fork out a fortune to brought hither. Thank you. Okay, do you want a potion? Or do I want either? I don't really use mana that much. I have some potions already. I don't really use mana. Okay. Just in case. Ah, oh, bugger. My straws of shoe meat are nearly not. The meat is indispensable. <laughs> Dante, I'm sorry. He looks so offended every time I do a different voice than my own. Indispensable ingredient for making my smoked shrew loaves, which are famous for their fantastic flavor. Unfortunately, I am no fool. In preparation of this possibility, I've set two barrel traps outside our establishment. Alas, I'm not accustomed, in, accustomed to butchering live beast. You could do the deed in my steed and bring me the meat and continue to cook. Oh, he says, I caught them, but I, I can't bring it to myself to kill them. I'm so sorry. Please, please do it for me. Dante, hands off the keyboard. Sorry, I don't want to yell at you, but your, your hands are on my keyboard. Roger. You that alien? Kind of alien. Drink me a laddie. You won't find better ale or spits for your corn than at my place, any place. Nutty flavor. Pumpkins don't have nutty flavor. Whatever. What's this? We Secreta asked you to bring this here for me? Heh. Ha heh. So even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this for the time I carried a drink so nice back home. But else, an honest to god pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do for her. With her. Lord's here scoffed down beastly amounts of meat. And it's starting to tell her. Starting to tell on the health. It'd be good to eat, get more vegetables in the bellies. Assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for your help, laddie. I think I could do this accent pretty well. Dante, off the keyboard. Oh, I can now do my next thing back around the thing. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. How long am I recording right now? I don't make it too long again. 48. How is it? I thought I was at maybe 20 minutes. God damn it. You know, laddie, if you just stand right with your thumb in your ass, or else I can give you something to do. Maybe that's my kink, you little butt. Thanks to ye unbelievably low prices, we've no shortage of customers here at the Coffin and Coffin. But by the same token, I can't afford to hire much help. We're chronically understaffed. What's more, these lazy arse types who refuse to come and order at the Cayenne. It'd be a great help if you could attend to these customers for me. Here's the customers are being dicks and they won't come up and order at the Cayenne. They want us to walk to them. There's only like three of us here. We can't really walk to you, mate. Mark these orders on these slips and bring them here. Hey, anyway, don't forget about old elephants outside. You won't even come in the building? What's wrong with you? Those balls I'm spent. Real dodo and a tank out of ale to wash it down. They're all gonna have this voice because that's the voice I'm liking right now. Gah, here I am again, spinning what mega coin I got the coffin. It ain't me fault to tell you. You did the same for your wife, sh served up shite every bleeding day. You can tell me what you want, but okay. Hello. Gods, I'm starving. Give me ale, grilled dodo, and smoked shrew loaf. Loaf, make it quick. Business is good, too good even. I've never got the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The real thought of the coffin's cooking makes me mouth water. It's in my, it means he doesn't have the accent, but I'm doing the accent. So bleh. Strong as bands, why'd you got? I need help to forget. That's very dark thinking. Everyone here is so sad. 
Chris. He's way over there. He's not even near the building. I guess he's guarding or something. Well, just new Aaron boy, yeah. Well then, I'll keep it simple for you, for your sake. Take it of your finest shell, shield with an arc. I shroud, I shroud. Hehe, <laughs> something like a tall drink to help one forget about the trifling things in life, like whack. Everyone's so dark and depressed. It's slightly depressed and light. I fell off the building. I'm so tiny, I can't even jump the steps. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna die, mate. Roger. That's all the orders then. Mm hmm. I didn't say what this was, there's a sarcastic thing there. Well. Let's see here. Uh, El Brandwine Grill Dodo. And for elephants, let me guess, one ticket of L. Right blame mister that is. What a put me boot up his arse. Anyway, you did good laddie. By way of thanks, I'm not, I'm gonna tell you something that ought to prove to your profit. Mustard eggs are ten piece. Twenty five gill. Two gill. I'll do this because it's worth money. Well, it is. Blackbush Station sorely undermined. This stone throat is there. Can't get a moment's space. It don't help knowing that Antling has been multiplying like nobody's business. Brave and crazy war and his group were there and two more of the buggers spawned his place. I was thinking, mayhap you can make yourself useful with the station by calling some Antlings. I don't doubt Warren would appreciate the help. And if ye win his thrust, he's like to have more work for ye. Mind ye, you'll need a shoe of my proof of your deeds. I also handling mandibles all to do the taking for ye. Talking for ye, I'll buy it. I don't really want to keep doing this area, I want to go to the other area, where I have a lot more missions. Because I do have a lot of missions and the western part. You know what, I'm going to ignore these and I'll come back later. But I feel like there's going to be more and more missions in that part as well. I don't know, I feel like I need a... I mean, I'm trying to do the missions in order, because these are like level 2 missions and things like that, and I don't want to like, um, do level 2 missions like really late, and like after, and they do level 10 missions before then or something like that. I'm just guessing on the levels, but I mean like, starter missions I feel like you should do before you get more missions. Holy shite! How am I not dead? They're so fucking cute. They're called grave robbers. Uh, but you're cute. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him dead. What you get for robbing graves, mate? I know you're cute and all, but I'm supposed to kill you, apparently, so... I don't know what this move does. I like how haste on myself. Alright, is that what that is? Oh, pretty cool. Oh, you guys are creepy at place. I thought you were cute. Now you're not. You're fucking creepy as fuck over here. I don't know how you got, like, is that a shield? Where'd you find a shield? You move fast, too. I really need and some cacti, cacti, cactors, because it's a cactor, not a cactus. But it's a cacti, I don't know, I hit the wrong button. That's my lighting, not my attack. Stop moving, I can't attack you and you're out of moving. Okay. I've added it to the thing, cool, awesome. Back to what I was going through. Where is it? Can I oh my app's right here. Well I don't want to I don't wanna go in the grave right now. I know there's missions to do that, but right now I want to avoid the graves because it's a I guess not really a high level area, but it's not a recommended area. Uh 
Oh, the shrews are still outside the building. I forgot about them. I need to, like, slay them for him. I don't think this is where I died last time. I know I'm higher level than I, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to start. I think it was in the other area, but this is with these monsters that I died. I'm going to avoid those tonight. My laptop's almost dead. I feel like every like ten minutes I can plug in, but I've only done like twice in these past like twelve videos. So twelve videos, two videos, whatever videos I'm doing, I don't fucking know. My I'm fucking hungry. But my food is in the kitchen. Just sitting there, all the unintended. It's fish. It probably shouldn't be unintended. The cats won't take it. Whatever. What's here? Trial stones. Oh, the trial stones. I forgot about those. Holy fuck, you scared me. So kick it and attack the earth elementals or whatever that come out, right? Yeah. Kick the rock. Does it form an attack on the rock, I guess? This one. There it goes. Whatever actually mattered what, what attack I did. I don't remember. That was too easy. That's what I mean by I want to do these missions when I like when I get them, because they're gonna be too easy. If I wait, you know, and I don't wanna just wait. I think I'm too easy. Like, well, you know, it kinda of defeats the purpose if it's an easy mission, you know, it's supposed to be challenge. And so if I don't do them in order, they're going to be, like, really challenging up front, and then they're going to be like, the same easy, you know, skipping. And, you know, where's the fun of that? Just skipping around. If it was actually, like, skipping, that'd be fun, but I'm not actually skipping, so it's not fun. Because I can't skip in this game. You can just jump. See what he's saying? Like, you need to rest between each of these and heal or anything else. And I don't need to heal between these. So I'm already like too high level for these guys. They're level five. I'm already double their level. That's how long it was for me to get to this point. And I don't think that's very fair or fun when I'm that high level. You're supposed to be a little bit of fearing for your life, you know? I don't know. They just should have done this earlier as when I'm trying to break away there. Uh, Missions I'm trying to get across. That's that's right. He's only level four. See, this one's even lower level. I'm sure I get the cat doors first before I go into cat. They're level 4 too, man. They're also low level. Well, it wasn't level 50, giant cat doors, so maybe they do get. I was gonna say, like, they're such powerful monsters, why were they so much low level? They probably do get stronger later on, because I did see that one big one. They're probably just kind of everywhere. They just wanted like people who are just starting out to see some like familiar faces, I guess. Because you know, everyone wants the cactors and the chickabees and all that, and the moogles. Those are like big Final Fantasy things. Okay, so I finished that hunting log. Right? Oh, I do get to scroll down, so I, 
I'm still on the same one. I feel dumb. There's a few more I could do. Okay. My bad. I'm a dumb. I did a dumb. I didn't know you scrolled down. Okay. So I was gonna like finish my thing with like finishing the hunting thing, but I guess that's not really the case. Okay. Return to my missions, yeah. Go on, I just know it. Gods, if I hadn't enough problems already, you took the wrong pack, you full bluff, you bloody oath. The horizon practice. You're a twelve send. I don't know why I keep doing that accent. I am trying back to my ring. Okay, you spared me quite a headache, friends. Thank you. If only there weren't so many other misplaced driven to play for the rest of these days. They're still falling apart. Minus. And the plus. They're both minus here, because see, I've done this for too long. I did this too long ago. I should have done it earlier on. Okay. They both only give me three dollars. Sure. See, because now that's not good enough for my character, because I did this mission too late. It's important to remember. Do an order and stuff. Like hey, what is my oh, my? I passed an hour. Jesus. So I guess I'm going to end here for the last time tonight. Because I've done two videos tonight. Or I guess this morning because it's 4am. I need to eat. On stuff. And uh, that's about it. So I need to edit these videos. Eat and everything else. So. TF Form signing off. Bye. Hey guys check out TF Com's videos. Are the bomb. Like, share, and comment. Please subscribe if you got a moment.